Okay, we have our STEM activity for the week. This is build a robot hand. We're gonna walk you through the steps. And in this activity, we're gonna show you how to build a simple robotic hand using common household materials. Again, this is a simple design. It is a simple engineering design. As you go through this process and you learn how to make this, you can start adapting to it. You can start modifying it and see how much more you can build or how many more models you can build or how you can differentiate the model to adapt to what your creativity can create. So let's look at the first thing you're going to need. These are the materials you're going to need. And again, these are all suggestions, okay? So you're gonna need some modeling clay. If you don't have modeling clay, see what you can think of to use other than modeling clay. And you're gonna see how we're gonna use that. You're gonna need some paper clips. You will need these straws though. We cannot do this one without the straws. You will need some small band, uh, rubber bands. This is a ping pong ball. And this is what we're gonna use at the very end to see if we can uh, lift this. You will need some thread. You will need a needle and a cardboard roll. Now for the needle, when you start working with this, please get your parents' permission. Please get adult supervision when you do the step that involves the needle, and you will see why. And again, this is a uh, suggested list. You can modify the design and substitute other materials after you watch the slides and see how it's built so you can get the general idea. So I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna give you, show you each slide. And again, what I need for you to understand is that you're going to be creating the fingers and you can, each finger is going to have a little joint. This is the simple model. You will be able to adapt it, modify it, test and improve upon the design to make it better and more complicated robot hand. But you need to low, know the first first steps. OK, so the first thing you do is you get a straw and you're going to cut a small notch about halfway along the length of the straw okay this is going to be the finger of the straw and this is going to be the joint where it bends okay the way you cut it is you just grab your scissors do a little end cut here and then grab the other one cut here and when you crink it when you fold it it should bend like this okay and it bends inward towards the joint okay this is the joint here okay the next thing you're going to do you're going to get your needle of course you're going to tie the string the thread to it here and then you're going to pierce a hole through it and it's right uh, above the notch you see where the the notch is here and you're going to pierce it through there and then you're going to run the needle through and pull it out here that's what the tweezers are for okay if you need the tweezers sometimes i found that if i just uh once i pierce it and i let the needle go through and i just hold the straw through this end here the needle will drop down and the gravity will let it pop out again it does have a point on it so be very careful you might want to let your parents uh, do this for you if you have a thimble or follow your safety procedures please okay what you don't want to uh, what you don't want to happen is to have the end of this piece of thread fall through the hole and come out okay so that's the next step you do you put pierce it and then notice uh, you know, a couple of centimeters or two, or millimeters, I'm sorry. Okay, the next thing you do is you're going to tie this off. You're going to make a little loop and just kind of tie it off like a shoestring tie. So long as it, it doesn't it, it doesn't allow it to go back when you pull on the paper clip. Because you're going to end up pulling on this paper clip, and you don't want this string to go down through the hole and come out again. So you tie, you make a little loop, and you tie a knot here. And that way, when you pull on it, it won't fall down or it won't go through the hole. Okay, so this is the knot here. You tie, attach the other end to a paper clip. Again, we're doing this simple design. Once you know how to build or make these simple designs, you can modify it and adapt it later. Okay, when you pull on these on the paper clip, that uh, straw it should bend here. Okay, so what you're pulling on it here. And it'll pull on this here, and this will pull it down, and it'll bend it like this. So it should look like that. And notice, this is how the little knot is there, so it doesn't go through the hole. That's what that knot is preventing to do. Okay, that's a basic finger. 
with the joint design. Okay, try to make another one. Okay, build a second one. Same way, notch, pierce it with the needle and tie it to the other end. Okay, this is where the modeling clay comes into play. And again, modify it as you see fit once you get the design of the simple, simple engineering design. Notice when you place the straws here, the notches have to face each other. See how there's here's a notch, here's a notch, okay? And now you put this you put the modeling clay here and then these strings will come out. Notice you're not covering the holes here at the end. Okay, you're just using the modeling clay to hold the fingers in place. When you pull on these, it will bend these uh, straws down. See when you bend them, pull on it, and they bend inwards. So you're making a grasping. Okay, when you pull on the paper clips, the fingers should bend. Next thing you want to do is get some of those small rubber bands and put them throughout the straw. This is going to allow the rubber bands uh, to improve the grip, to improve the grip. And again, modify it as you see fit once you complete the initial design. So it's just allowing it to have more surface area to grip. Here's where you get the cardboard tube. Once you get ready to do this, what you're going to have to go do, once you get ready to do this, is of course the initial string that you used, it's not going to be long enough to go down the cardboard tube. So what you do is you, get to, you tie these ends to a longer piece that will be able to allow it to go through the tube. And this is the arm. Okay. And again, you're going to need to tie longer strings and thread them through the tube and then you could connect the strings to a single paper clip if you like or uh, if you connect it to a single one that'll control both at once or have two to control one at a time but again the key here is to extend the string to come out through the arm and you get the idea of what we're, what it's going to look like okay and this when you pull it try to see if you can hold something with not so much mass and pull on the screens and try to use your robot hand to pick up small lightweight objects. Like This is a ping pong ball. And again, go out and see what you can do. Later, your challenge is going to be if you can create a robot arm to pick up heavier items. And you're going to test it, see what it's doing, make a design, improve it, and continue with that. Okay, here's an optional uh, design here where you Put several notches, several joints. It's a more complicated design. Okay, this picture shows the figures with three joints, and each one is controlled independently by a different string. So when you pull on these, if you pull on one of these, it'll bend this one. If you pull on this one, these two, it'll bend here, and see how this works. Okay, this is another option. See if you could try to add a different combinations and orientations of these fingers here okay see if you can make a claw like you see in those arcade games where you uh, try to pull out a stuffed animal from the uh, big old drum or container that it has uh, can you make a hand, an, a hand that looks like a human hand with four fingers of different lengths and a thumb so try to modify the design as you see fit or keep it this way and see how you can modify this to lift every objects, but that's your challenge for the week. And I'm very interested to see you uh, display this on Wednesday, on our live session on Wednesday. And have this ready for us if you're ready to present, okay? That's all you're gonna be doing with this. You don't have to create a slideshow or, or a video for this if you're still working on the design. If you so choose to, that you wanna share with us during our, our Wednesday's live session, by all means. You have the option to doing that. So good luck with this challenge. Have fun with this challenge and take your time with this challenge. Again, this is a simple design and it's up to you to come up with a more modified or a modified design as you see fit or just practice with this one and modify this design. Well, good luck with your robot arm. You will be reading a textbook or an informational text on Epic that talks about how robotic arms were developed and what
they used in nature as a guide. And you will be creating slides for that, vocabulary word slides, uh, summaries for that. And I hope everyone is ready to work on that. So before I go on, let me show you something. Okay. I was talking about the epic textbook. And that's going to be how they use that na they use nature as a model for the designs for prosthetics and how they develop that and so forth. So a lot of times scientists look at nature to get an idea of how nature does something and that gives them a idea of how to start. And these ones came this design this book is called from the lampreys okay lampreys and to robots and this is the textbook that's been assigned to you these are the vocabulary words that you'll be working on and they use this lampreys and how they the readers will discover how the invention of robots were inspired by the lamprey and this is the lamprey here and you'll learn more about it as you read this textbook, you're going to be creating slides that are going to summarize this textbook, this informational book. You will be creating slides for your vocabulary words. You do have a list of vocabularies to use. You do have a glossary to work with. And here is where they started to look at the lampreys. And they got some ideas of how to create those robotic arms. And I hope you have fun looking at this and always know that uh, we look at nature sometimes to get an ideas on how to create products that will help humans here on earth and we always look at nature as a guide here and I think this was very interesting for you to see how they use the lampreys uh, to help them design uh, robots okay and these, this allowed the scientists to easily study and experiment with the lamprey because it looks like it's a creature that helped them get the ideas of how to create these robotic arms. And look at this one here. This is a more complicated model of what you're creating and see how different it is from what you're making. But the similarities are there. You see how the they have the fingers and the joints. You're making a pretty rudimentary model of this one. But again, this is how more, look at the amount of strings that are in there. And look at the complicated design here. And again, this you can use this as a guide. So good luck with this. Have fun with this. And I can't wait to see your presentations on Wednesday. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask me through our live sessions or uh, through an email. Thank you again and have a wonderful, wonderful day.